I felt like doing a short follow-up. It's not going to be long. And if it is long, then I'm going to do what I should have done for all my other videos and actually edit it. It's a little cut some shit out, some nasty stuff, some like nose picking, some wheezing, burping, hiccuping, just to make it shorter. Just cut those few seconds off. However, I just wanted to mention my favorite videos that I made of 2012. Now I noticed that, uh, first off, straight off the bat, number one's going to be Nicki Minaj supports Mitt Romney, which was a video I made, and it was leaning towards the comical route. I was trying to make it a funny video, and it worked, actually. It was just something I improvised. I looked at Facebook, and I thought, Okay, I'm about to make a video on this. Because <laughs> every all them black niggas was pissed that Nicki Minaj supports Mitt Romney. And they were trying to make a dramatic deal about it. So, I just said, hey, mom, you want to join the back? That's what she did. She joined. She was like, she, she was like a figure that was there to motivate me to say more crazy shit. That's about it. Uh, recently added to this list of my favorites, I'm going to include... Gentrification of Washington Heights. The actual points I was making wasn't really that interesting. Just the intro is funny as fuck. So you should just watch that for the intro and shit. In general, I was critiquing gentrification. And a lot of people might think that's kind of an egalitarian thing to think. Like, you, you don't like when white people moved to what was once a white neighborhood and now became Hispanic as hell. Well, that can, does contradict some of the right wing things I say, but. Think about it this way. It's the hipster white guys. It's the hipster white people. It's the Starbucks crowd. If it was the blue collar badasses or those kind of guys. If it was guys like Grog, Arini, those motherfuckers. Hell yeah. I would be happy. Less violence. You got these cops harassing kids and stuff. So dumb. Um... What else is my favorite videos? Anything from the summer, I usually say something that's really quotable. I really make some of the best lines in the summer. Stuff that you can literally put in quotes. And I've tried and put it on Facebook. Uh, let me check it right now. We had a sociopath, a nigga that didn't give a fuck. And we had a porn star from Populism Within Aristocracy. And we also had feeling indifference together isn't the same as feeling anger together. So these are some mediocre paraphrases, but you get the message. It's pretty cool, some of the stuff I said. So those are one of my favorites. Generally, I like anything past my release of anti-statism circa 20-whatever. I did post some fun videos in 2012, like, uh, and you're gonna like, you're gonna realize that some of my favorite videos were some of my more fun videos, not the serious ones. Anything where I'm being a dick for no reason, not really covering a wide range of social issues, although a lot of videos I made, like Victim and Western Civilization to Return. Those videos I like too. But sometimes uh, what I would consider to be the very best were like when I mirrored stuff from JTV. For example, when I took the cinnamon challenge, that was really funny actually. And I was playing that crappy ass RPG. It was annoying too because I said everything I was doing because I was recording my I was recording what was happening, but I wanted you to experience what I was dealing with, and that delivery to me wasn't very likable, but what can you do? So those are my thoughts, best videos, and a few seconds left, because I don't want to make this too long. I noticed that French Elements and Enigma Hood's videos against each other, like, Part one of both of them got deleted, so I just realized that 
YouTube isn't really idiot a bunch of video logs. That's not what's happening right now because a lot of people on the internet, especially like sites like Facebook, they get banned and removed from just a mob of assholes. And I think that when sites become as big as YouTube or Facebook or MySpace or, well, not as much MySpace now, but when they reach an audience like that, even if they don't achieve those numbers, if they try to reach out like that, they're going to have to lose a large amount of organization. And the policing of these sites isn't doing much good. I feel like uh, there needs to be a good alternative to this YouTube, uh, Facebook, MySpace, Dick Space, Anus Book conundrum. Because when sites get this big, it just becomes one giant clusterfuck of bannings and stuff like that. That's why I might focus on a blog spot. Just so that if the masses and these chaotic people and YouTube policing, they're so out of control that they delete some stupid shit from my page. Well, you know what? I have a blog spot, so there you go. And I have a Tumblr too, but I don't give a fuck. Who I have to talk to on Tumblr? Some liberal fucks.